Hello, my wonderful friends. This is Roger Spur, and I will be representing mudfossilkids.com with my research, the content of my research. And what we are hoping to do is to create a worldwide web of charter schools, chapters, where we have learners that are going out and actually in groups and you know friendly groups little neighborhood friendship type things going out and exploring our world face to face instead of reading books and being said this is an igneous rock and this is metamorphic and this is sedimentary well that was told to me that that is a sedimentary rock which i can tell you right now that was an actual human head I've looked at it very, very carefully. I know exactly what it was. And you can actually see the nose and the flesh coming off the nose, the cartilage. And, and I, I understand the blood, which is the black blood is your vein blood, and the red is the arterial blood, which has extra oxygen and the nutrition and so forth. So we have a lot of chemistry. We have a lot of specimens. We have DNA reports. We have CAT scans. We have specimens. We have geese. Ah, ah, ah. That goose turned into a rock. We need to know why that happened. And you'd be able to go out in your own backyard or wherever you have somewhere and pick up rocks that just everybody said, oh, that's just a rock. Well, it's not a rock. That's a bone. And I'm going to show you, and we are going to learn together what these things were and what they are now and how they became what they are now. What was the process? Because they say that won't happen. Ah, it just rots away and all you ever find is bones. There are no bones. That's the neck right there. There are no bones in mud fossils. You literally almost never find bones. The last bit of bone is right there in this bone. Now you can probably not see it. It's just barely visible. Uh, and that's what happens is they transition. That's like what's called transitioning. They change from being living, moving molecules into stabilized molecules. And the only way they can do that is in water, where other different little minerals and metals can come along and say let's get together and then we'll become stable and when we dry out we'll become a rock we have a lot of fun to do here my friends and you're going to find things that just excite you every single day of the rest of your life stay with us okay well, you obviously know about mud fossil university if you're here watching the video now now you probably know that we cover virtually everything up here autism how bacteria affects autism in kids one in 40 have autism now pre-existing conditions and the risks you 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 have with when you get invaded and you already have pre-existing conditions we study the earth and how things are formed I, I'm deep into this autism biology and bacteria and all that stuff now because I want to help people. I want things to to get better. So, look, another autism. I got a lot of stuff going on autism. And it's working. It's helping people from the bacteria. That's another issue. I put this up the other day, Mud Fossil Parents Club, asking who would want to get involved. And I was a little overwhelmed by I shouldn't have put it up because I didn't have enough to go by yet. So I'm going to take this down and get it out of here. And the one you're watching now will be the replacement for it. And I, I can't really do much with anybody right at the moment. It's going to be sort of, a, I, I'm really going to stay sort of out of it and just be the content provider. That's all I want. I don't want to be any big part of it. I, well, I do want to be a big part of it. But I don't want to be um, like... I don't know how to explain it. You, you know what I'm talking about. I just want to make the content. I just want to show what I show. And then interact with everybody. Answer questions. I love that stuff. But I'm not much of a coordinator and all that business. I'm, you know, you see what I do. I'm just, sort of... I just, I just enjoy doing it. So that's all I'm, I'm going to do. And um, we got so much to go over. And the health issues, I mean, it's absolutely phenomenal what has been missed. 
that we need to really look into. We really need to look into a lot of things that that people just have not paid attention to. And they thought it was silly. They said, well, don't talk about that. You can't even think about that. They'll think you're a crazy person. Well, that's how you become indoctrinated. And where do you see where we're going to go with this? Woohoo! All right, I love you all. Stay tuned. I'm sorry I can't make this happen quicker. It's been 10 years for me already, so quick is not a big factor. All right, I love you all. Thanks, bye.